a thin convex lens having focal length 20 cm cut in two parts 10 mm above the principal axis and they are kept somewhere so I think the basic diagram I have to draw the diagram above the principal axis the lens is split Ten millimeter above. I'll call A. This is this part is above with optical center at the origin and upper portion at 90 degrees oh, the part minus 30 <coughs> point objective okay fine find the find the coordinates of final assuming para accelerates of promotion to remain valid oh, okay this is the y axis this is 90 centimeter this is 30 centimeter focal length if you cut it focal length will remain same what is the focal length of this it will have same focal length focal length of lens will not change already i discussed in previous class if you cut the lens palette to optic axis the focal length of the lens will not change now first the rays will undergo refraction, then will undergo refraction. Okay, the, due to this we can calculate the image here. What about this? How to work out this one? So it is not on principal axis. So if you go for the complete lens, if there were a complete lens were there, Its principal axis would have been somewhere here. Ah, this is the the key <coughs> thinking of the problem. The optic center, what we call C, it would have been here. This is the optic axis for this piece of the lens. This is the optic axis for this one. Two lens are there, lens one, lens two. The optic axis for lens two is this one. So what we'll write here, optic axis of lens two. What is this one? Optic axis of lens. See, what, what is this? The, the lens would have been here, no? This cut and, and it is moved here. So definitely its optic axis will shift. How much? By A. This is a trick of the problem. Nothing is there. What is A? A is what? 10 millimeter. Be P1, I'll write it. P2. The focal length will remain same, F only. This is a length one. Okay, let's write the equations. I will draw the ray diagram in the end, if possible. Yeah? So the equations will be 1 by P1, I1. Is 1 by P1 equal to 1 by F. F1 or F definitely. 
So 1 by P1 I1. This will be minus 30. Towards right will be positive. Because the incident rays are, are, are striking the lens. So the incident rays are moving towards right. So the P1O you will measure opposite incident ray. So therefore it should be negative. Focal length will be less 20. So 1 bar P1 I1 equal to 1 by 20 minus 1 by 30 uh, will be 60. 30 minus 20 by 600. So P1 I1 equal to 60 centimeter. 60 centimeter means the image has to be somewhere here. This will become now object for this lens. 30 centimeter but at a height here. So we'll, we'll apply now P to I2. P to I1 equal to for part of the lens for smaller lens this is so this will be P2 I2 P2 I1 will be minus 30 focal length that's 20 why minus 30 this distance should be equal to So this will be P2 I2 equal to 1 by 20. Again will be plus 60. Then magnification M2 is equal to P2 I2 by P2 I1. P2 I2 will be 60. This will be minus 30 minus 2. Then we will calculate the height of the object. M2 into what is the height of the object? This is the <coughs> height of the object. Ten millimeter will be minus twenty millimeter. Where the twenty millimeter will be below this one, and where it is sixty centimeter from here, sixty centimeters. And below this, this will be the position of hundred. Twenty millimeter. What is this? This will be sixty centimeter. So, what should be the coordinates of I two? Coordinates of I two should be ninety one fifty centimeter plus A is how much? Ten millimeter. Ninety plus sixty, one fifty centimeter. This is the origin, no? So this is this is ten millimeter, twenty millimeter. So the rays after refraction, uh, you try it. Uh, I don't have a place to draw the ray diagram. With the position of your so what is I two coordinates of final image? 